Hi, my name is Julia Ritchie, and this is what happens after CCIM. My name is Julia Ritchie. I graduated in 2015. I was in TCOM and I currently work at the Heartland Film Festival in Indianapolis, Indiana. When I first graduated, I was kind of at a crossroads. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do because when I first entered college, I was like, I want to be a producer. I want to do this. I want to do production. But then, you know, throughout my college experience and all the things that I did and all the classes I took, I kind of was like, oh, I'm, you know, not really sure now because I felt like I had a lot of options, but not really sure of a direction I wanted to go in. So I actually um, took some time uh, to kind of take a break and figure out what I wanted to do. I worked in retail for a couple of years while I, I started my own film blog at the time, was doing that on the side. Got involved on social media with, um, there's a big film community on Twitter, and so kind of built up a following that way. And then through Turner Classic Movies and people who work for them on social media, and then I ended up getting a freelance job with Filmstruck uh, and Turner Classic Movies doing freelance research. And then through that, I ended up getting, uh, being asked to be on the a short film jury for the Heartland International Film Festival. I was looking at grad schools actually at the time for film studies when I was um, applying for the job that I currently have now at Heartland Film, which is a programmer. So what differentiates Heartland International Film Festival from other film festivals around the world is we are, an audience-focused film festival and we're a filmmaker-focused film festival. Other film festivals like Sundance or Cannes, they're really big industry-focused festivals where it's all about the deal, who's going to get this you know, $3 million distribution deal on Amazon or Netflix. Our festival, we focus on independent film. We focus on film that can impact the audience in some way, that does more than just entertain movies that can inspire you or make you think, or you just leave feeling something or thinking about something in a new way. And so beyond just general entertainment. Yeah, we're a filmmaker focused festival as well. So that means we want them to have a great time and we want everybody to have a great time. Filmmakers, audiences, we want everybody to have a great time. And so uh, a lot of film festivals, filmmakers are not treated as well as they should be. And so we make sure that they have Q and A's after their film. They get a chance to interact with our audiences. Audience get a chance to ask them questions and have conversations, um, sometimes tough ones as well, but just to have that fun experience and have it here in the Midwest where a lot of people don't think film festivals are for them. Uh, they think it might be an elitist type thing, but movies are for everybody. Everybody likes movies. And so it's a way for people to experience something that they might not get to experience and we're kind of bringing the best cinema from around the world as well to Indianapolis and people get to experience other cultures or uh, perspectives. If I could summarize my work in one word, it would be energizing because I love movies. I've always loved movies. I've grown up watching them and I always knew I was gonna do something in the film industry. Not really sure what that was, but I love going to work every day. I get paid to watch movies. That's kind of what I get, what I do. And also not just that, but also from meeting filmmakers and people, uh, people in the industry from all over the world who have a passion for what they do and are just so talented and putting out work that sometimes might not get seen by wide audiences, but with film festivals, their work is getting out there and to different audiences from around the world, they go and just play the festival circuit and meeting people from all over the world, interacting with audiences, sharing these films with audiences. I love just recommending films to people and that's kind of what I do in my job as well. Just telling people, this is a great movie, you should see it. and getting the audience reactions from those as well makes me really happy and just is invigorating to see people you know fall in love with a movie my day-to-day -day kind of isn't super typical because it kind of depends what time of year it is with the film festival so heartland film we do two film festivals during the year we do indie shorts international film festival in july and then we do the heartland international film festival which focuses on feature films in october 
And so year-round cycle, we're constantly doing something. This time of year, I am looking through film submissions. Uh, so uh, in managing, we have a team of volunteers that helps us watch the films because there's only two programmers on staff and we get thousands of film submissions every year. Uh, so I'm managing that. So on a given day, I will be watching films. I will be you know, the normal sending emails, um, collaborating with our marketing department to uh, provide content for social media and to help promote uh, any screenings we have coming up or events. We have screenings throughout the year as well, so we're doing that, uh, coming up with strategic plans for the upcoming festivals uh, that we have. Sometimes we'll I'll also uh, travel to other film festivals as well. Just got back from Clermont Ferrand in France. Um, I got to go to Cannes last year. I went to Sundance last year. Um, so there, those festivals were scouting films, were networking, uh, meeting filmmakers, meeting other industry players. And during the festival, it's go, 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 14 hour days. I'm During festivals, I'll be introducing films, introducing screenings, Q and A's. Uh, helping out with box office or whatever. At work, I wear, uh, wear a lot of hats because we are a nonprofit, and so we're, it's constant collaboration with different departments. The proudest moment of my professional career so far was I programmed an anniversary series for our uh, Heartland International Film Festival this past year. It was the first time Heartland has ever done uh, anniversary or classic movie series um, in its 28, 29 year history. And so I have a passion for classic movies and uh, want to share them with people and get them in front of audiences. And they're meant to be seen on the big screen. And so that's kind of, that was my goal with this program. So we did 20th anniversary screening of The Mummy. We had Brendan Fraser come and uh, it was so much fun that, he, that we did a QA. and a He was super excited to be there. The audience was super excited that he was there. And it was just all these you know, super fans of The Mummy. <laughs> just really excited to see this movie on the big screen. And uh, we also did a screening of Breaking Away uh, from the 1970s. And the star of the film, Dennis Christopher, came. And because that movie was filmed and set in Bloomington, it's a very special movie for people here. And it was just really cool for them to see this movie that they grew up watching and some people were bringing their kids and grandkids to see it and you know showed it on the big screen and it's one of those movies that makes you want to stand up and cheer and so people did at the end and it was just it was really cool Hi, my name is Julia Ritchie. I graduated in 2015. I was a TCOM and... <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs>